Welcome back, Bears. I'm Ren. Summer. I'm Jay. Robin. DJ. I'm Aiden. I'm Jacob. I'm Vladimir. I'm Hayes. I'm Nikos. I'm Green. I'm Tunin. I'm Gabriel. I'm Henry. I'm D. I'm Diego. I'm Lanny. I'm James. I'm Marquis. I'm Zachary. I'm Brandon Bickor. I'm Lincoln. I'm Kyrie. I'm Uriah. I'm Daniel. Bears. I'm Annalise. We're recording from the BTV studio. Back Bears, I'm speech and debate teacher Teresa Haby, reporting from the BTV studio. Today is Friday, November 5th, and it's National Jersey Friday. Who's your favorite team? Let's take a quick look at today in history. On November 5th, 1940, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was re-elected for an unprecedented third term as President of the United States. Roosevelt would go on to vie for and win yet a fourth term taking office again on January 20th, 1945. Two years after FDR's death, Congress passed the 22nd Amendment, limiting presidents to two terms. U.S. lawmakers argued that term limits were necessary to keep abuse of power in check. Thus, presidents today can only serve two terms. Now for more recent news. Quarterback Ashton DuBose, his twin brother Aaron, a wide receiver, along with twins Jason and Ryan Love, both running backs, celebrated their birthday last night with a Bears 56 to 23 win over Marshall Rams, finishing the regular season undefeated, 10 to zero. Shh, shh, go Bears. Ashton led the district champs, yes, district champs, by scoring three times. Aaron also scored on a 53 yard reception from his twin brother, while running back J.M. Lard scored twice. Chase Campbell and Eliza Williams each scored once. Our Bears, however, are not done yet. Stay tuned in for who the Bears face in the postseason. Take a look at highlights from last night's game. Let's wish our Bears swim team luck today at the Arena Classic meet. Swim on, Bears. And lots of luck to our mighty Brennan marching band who will compete in a Bands of America competition at the Alamo Dome this evening. Tomorrow, they will also travel to Austin to compete in the U.S. Bands competition. March on, BMB. The Robo Bears will also compete in a virtual meet tomorrow. Code on, Robo Bears. Are you ready for college career military night? 
It's on November 15th from 6.50 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Paul Taylor Fieldhouse and the Northside Activity Center, located at 7001 Calebra Road. It's right next to Gus Stadium. For a list of universities and colleges, including the branches of the military, scan this QR code. Don't miss out on valuable information on financial aid. Three sessions are scheduled to assist you. Bears, if you'd like to order a panoramic, you can go online at herndonpanoramics.com. Click on the Find Your Photo link and scroll down to Brennan. Also, administrators continue conducting tardy sweeps. So let's get to class on time. Don't block the hallways, walk and talk. Finally, let's give Kayla Lyons a huge shout out for qualifying for the state cross country meet after running in the regional meet last month. She will compete this Saturday, tomorrow, November 6th in Round Rock. Run on, Kayla. Well, this is all I have for today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, just email Mr. Cerna at fernando.cerna at nisd.net. I'm Mrs. Haby, signing off from BTV. Have a great day, Bears, and enjoy the extra hour of sleep you'll get Sunday morning as daylight savings time ends. Remember, keep a positive mindset, stay engaged in your learning. This is a BTV production.